Good morning from me and my overnight oats. So in the past two weeks, I've been getting a lot better at making these. I started with just whole grain oats and then milk and then like maple syrup. But now I use milk and the oats and then chia seeds and then banana and then jelly if I have it too. So I also just got a call this morning from Andrew, who is my old roommate. And he wants to go get Mexican food because he's just been in Scotland for like the past three or four months studying abroad. He also creates drawings and he's really good at it. So he inspired me a lot as an artist. Something I love doing is watching TV and looking for ideas for vi filming videos and editing videos. So right now I'm watching Stranger Things. I'm on episode six and it's been pretty good so far. I really like how they can build conflict and build tension and build across multiple storylines at once. And I just think it's like really cool. They obviously have like 80, 100, 1,000 people like working on the creative design, everything from the clothes to the story to the script. But I feel like taking stories and looking at how they tell stories in bigger ways and then trying to distill them and find out what's the essence and what really matters in the storytelling has been really fun for me. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Was it really uh, cold? It was cold, it was dark, it was cloudy, and it was raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of it, all Sounds of it. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hello. I just read the reason for your visit and yeah. unfortunately with telemedicine we cannot do that. So I'm feeling a little bit frustrated right now. I called like six or seven different health insurance lines and doctor lines and doctor places but none of them can take my appointment right now and I have a health clearance form to sign for my study abroad but I just haven't done it yet and I've been kind of putting it off but at the same time like I've been reaching out to the doctors and it's my first time I've done my insurance, so I feel like a little kid again, as with so many things as a first generation college student. Gotta fucking teach it to myself. It's not my place to be complaining right here and to be saying that my parents didn't teach me a good job or didn't raise me well, because they raised me well. But there are just some things that I don't have clarity on, and I think me, like everyone else, has to just learn it you know and it's not always comfortable but it's just what kind of has to be done i think i'm gonna go work out to bust the nerves out and break a sweat yeah yeah I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, coming in yeah flex i just want to win yeah la bb who be running with yeah two two three three i'm on ten again State your name, big bin dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh uh, coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. 2233, two, three, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. I remember when I started in my freshman year, 
I would be able to do like five of these and then I would be like <sighs> like dying, wheezing on the floor. But now I can do like 15, 18, 20, 25 of them. I think the highest record I've had for myself is like doing 45 of them. But then like afterwards I was just like, oh my God, completely done. And I love the feeling of getting more reps and getting more sets. It feels like I level up. So, you know, do 15 this time, next time do 20, next time do 25. Feels good. I'm on 10 again. Okay, all right. Come in there. It's a great thing for my entire body. For my legs that have to stabilize, you know, the quads and the hamstrings. Put a little bit of hip thrust in there, have my lats and everything too, have my abs working, and have my arms, like the grip strength, going hard. I also like to include the stretching that I do with it and the yoga, so it helps me a lot with containing my mind and my body, having them align, and then making myself better for it. So thus far, summer's been pretty good. I'm pretty glad with how I've been spending my time. I've been spending a lot of time inside. Not as much time in beaches or other places that I would expect. But I got to see my brother graduate. Got to have a nice dinner with my family. Can't ask for too much more, huh? And I've also been talking to a couple of old high school friends who I haven't seen in a long time. You know, just FaceTiming them, just messaging them. Whew. All right, we're gonna go up the stairs, but I'm gonna switch hands. You know, once you hold a 45 pound kettlebell in your hands, it almost feels like nothing else is too heavy anymore. Not even this camera, which is like eight pounds by itself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, and then I will be back at the desk to do some editing and probably follow up with the doctors. So, be right back. All right, so I'm just gonna call insurance now, get on with the rest of my day, do some reading, maybe watch some more TV. And I wanna end off with a little bit of an idea, kind of like a quote today that a good friend from high school kind of mentioned yesterday. It doesn't matter if you're moving forward inch by inch or by miles or by light years. As long as you keep moving forward in the direction that you want to move forward in. That is a life well lived. And I think that is just about how I wanna look at today and just how about I wanna look at life because we keep moving forward and as long as we're striving in that correct direction and doing the things that we want, we can't really place so much pressure or get down on ourselves for anything less than that. So I hope you keep moving forward with your life and the goals that you have and all the things that you love doing and I hope that I do that too. Peace out. You like that slow-mo shot, Justin? <laughs> yeah, it's in help with the slow-mo shot. It was it was really funny. Justin and Andrew were like, I don't wanna get I don't wanna get shot um, while I'm eating. I was like, fine, I'll, I'll do it. Let's do it.